Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm going to tell you a few different courses that are worth doing that are completely free. <laughs> So we're going to go through five different courses here that are free and some of them have a free certificate at the end but some of them you do have to pay for the certificate once you've completed the course. Saying that though they're only like 200 or 300 dollars for the certificate in the end so it's still worthwhile getting it instead of paying thousands of dollars for a very similar certification. So the first one is the CMNO or ECMS1. It used to be called the Cisco Meraki Network Operator. Now it's called the Engineering Cisco Meraki Solutions Number One. This certification is specific to Cisco Meraki devices, but it teaches you a little bit of general networking. As you may know, Cisco is pretty widely used throughout the IT world and having any certification from them, especially a free one, is just as good as having having a paid one. It's a general introduction to their products essentially and um, how to use them and how to configure them and it's it's pretty useful. I did the CMNO a couple of years ago and um, I've done it twice I think just as a refresher and yeah it's pretty good. It's a easy to follow certification. It has labs that go through the entire day. It's a whole day course that you can do online from anywhere. The best part obviously is that it is 100% free. So definitely have a look at the ECMS1 or CMNO. If you type either of those into Google, you'll find the course I'm talking about. The next free certification at the moment is on Cybrary.it only, and it's called the Certified Cloud Security Professional or CCSP. I think this is still free at the moment, all of December this year. So. It's definitely worth having a look at. It's the full course laid out into different modules, uh, just like all of their other courses are. And having this should get you at least into an entry level position with some experience. So that's definitely worth having uh, if you're looking to sort of break into the industry. I've plugged Cybrary on this channel about 3 million times. So it's, it's definitely worth looking at. Their certifications are well priced and um, their courses are really good, especially for the uh, CompTIA Security Plus course. I found that really good on Cyberary IT. So definitely take a look at the um, CCSP. It's a free course, you might as well do it. They say on Cyberary with this course that you can get into a job as a SOC analyst, and I'd say they're fairly spot on there. Um, you may also be able to upskill from there with experience and some other certifications into something like a a security engineer or even like a network security engineer role. As you can see from all of these different modules, it covers pretty much everything from cloud computing to networking, access control, you name it, it's all in there. I think the overall course is like nine hours of time that you need to put in to do it. So check it out, it's on cyberry.it forward slash browse forward slash course forward slash CCSP. Um, if you can't find it there, have a look on my YouTube channel. I put it in the community tab if you want to check that out. The next course is from edX and it's called the Microsoft Azure Security Services Certification. It's a free course. They reckon it takes around two to four hours of work per week and runs for a total of four weeks. Um, you do have to pay for the certificate at the end, which is 145 Australian dollars, which is under a hundred dollars us this certification is from microsoft themselves and it's um it covers quite a lot so it is focused more on azure and their security practices um, but it does cover some other stuff like network security groups and uh, understanding microsoft architectures i put this course in the list because azure is such a massive beast of a product these days that you see it in so many different places that you're potentially going to get a job at and they often ask for Azure experience. So being able to complete this course will definitely set you out from the rest of the people who have just done like a Security Plus or a Linux Plus um, or maybe even some networking certs before and they don't have any Azure experience. Someone who has Azure experience will often stand out against the people who don't especially if the environment you're looking at protecting is an Azure environment. Next up, we have another course from edX, which is the Analyzing Data with Python. 
Um, again, this one comes with a certificate fee of 57 Australian dollars, which is like $25 US. This one, I don't know if I'd bother getting the certificate in the end. It's more useful just to do the course and learn about uh, Python programming, which you'll definitely use down the line. As I've said a thousand times before, Python is a huge piece of cybersecurity and it's definitely worth learning at least the basics, which is what this course is all about. As they say in their description here, it says, learn how to analyze data using Python. This course will take you from the basics of Python to exploring many different types of data. You will learn how to prepare data for analysis, perform simple statistical analysis, create meaningful data visualizations and predict future trends from data and more. So it's, it's all about analyzing the data with Python. So it's, yeah, as it says in the title, it's gonna be a pretty straightforward uh, course, but definitely worth learning, especially as big data becomes more common. The last free course that I'm recommending is also from edX. Uh, the certificate fee is 145 Australian dollars, which is around 100 US. And it is the fundamentals of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now I threw this course in there because I thought it was the best overall course for learning Linux for free. Um, so if you're maybe preparing to do a Linux Plus or you've just done the Linux Plus and you're looking for something to take you to an, another level and maybe get into Linux uh, system administration or Linux hardening, or maybe you just wanna learn more Linux to be better at your job in cybersecurity, this is a great course to do and learn from. I'll quickly read through the about of this course here. So this course will provide you with a basic introduction to Linux skills using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. It will show you how a Linux system is organized and will demonstrate introductory system administration tasks, which you will be able to practice on your own. It goes on to say sort of where Linux is used and how it's basically in everything and Red Hat is a, such a big beast there. So it says here in this course, we will cover how to access a command line. You should definitely know how to do this already. Manage files from the command line, create, view and edit text files, manage Linux users and groups, monitor, manage Linux processes and install update software. Um, yeah, so it's certainly well worth having, especially if you want to sort of move into the Linux sysadmin position, but also quite worth having uh, just if you want to be better at Linux in general. If you were to tie this in with something like the uh, CompTIA Linux Plus, and then sort of make your way towards the sort of more Linux crowd than um, networking or uh, security side of things, this is a great way to go about that. Anyway, that's the end of my recommendations for free courses that you can do right now from anywhere. Let me know what you think or if there's any courses that maybe I should add to this list of free courses in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks guys. Очередным выпрямлением рук. Вниз. И... Изгибание ног по очередным выпрямлением.